Our, our next speaker is um, uh, Dr. Nana Kao. She's a senior manager of um, uh, the UN Secretary General's Every Woman, Every Child, uh, the team. She's working, she's at the executive uh, UN Secretary General's office. She's the brain behind Every Woman, Every Child, nationally, globally, internationally. And this movement is taken into the current stage at the effort of Nana. Let me invite Nana to, uh, to deliver a speech. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Joe Thomas, for that introduction. Your Excellencies, um, the Honorable uh, State Minister, Mr. Malik, uh, our, our guests uh, and host of the 12th Interministerial PPD Conference. Um, it's a great honor for me to be here in uh, Dhaka today, and I'd like to acknowledge and thank the leadership of the government of Bangladesh. We had the honor of the state minister participate and champion the development of the uh, updated global strategy for women, children, and adolescent health. And he was in New York with the Secretary General earlier this year in May to be part of those discussions, as well as the honorable uh, minister of health as well, uh, Mr. Nassim who uh, participated in the launch of the strategy in September. So Bangladesh, the government of Bangladesh has very much been a key champion for every woman, every child. And also the partners in population development have been an integral partner. And I'd like to acknowledge and thank the uh, co-chairs of the partners in population and development, the Honorable uh, Vice Minister, Mr. Wang Peian, and also the Honorable Minister, uh, uh, Nada from the Government of India. Um, also my uh, uh, distinguished colleagues from the UN family, the UNICEF and UNFPA regional directors, um, and also the um, uh, Honorable Ambassador from the United States uh, here in Bangladesh. Um, and also I'd like to acknowledge the uh, Honorable Speaker of the National Parliament as the uh, guest speaker today, Dr. Chowdhury. Um, it is a great honor for me to be here, and I bring uh, the uh, welcome and thanks from the UN Secretary General, who leads the Every Woman, Every Child initiative. 2015 is a historic year, and as we near the end of 2015 and the end of the Millennium Development Goals, I think this is a moment to reflect uh, in terms of uh, to where we are in, in, in this historic moment. In September, world leaders gathered in New York to adopt the new Sustainable Development Goal Agenda, a new universal compact uh, towards dignity for all uh, that is people-centered and planet-sensitive. Also, 2015 is the 70th anniversary of the United Nations. The 2030 Agenda, as, as we refer to it, is a result of an unprecedented three-year-long transparent and inclusive and open intergovernmental process with inputs from millions of people um, and institutions all over the world. It is the Agenda 23 addresses the root causes that have hindered poverty, eradication, inclusive growth, and sustainable development. It recognizes the interlinkages between key pillars of peace, security, development, and human rights. The Sustainable Development Goals include 17 goals with 169 targets, aiming to promote prosperity and well-being for everyone everywhere on a health, healthy planet. And the main motto is to leave no one behind. These goals speak to all people in all countries, calling for action from everyone, everywhere. And as we reflect on that historic adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals, we also reflect that they build upon the Millennium Development Goals and seeks to complete what these, the MDGs did not achieve. We are gathered here today um, as part of the 12th Interministerial PPD Conference to discuss how we can um, complete this unfinished MDG agenda, particularly looking at the health and well-being of women, children, and adolescents everywhere, and how we can ensure every woman, every child, and 
every adolescent uh, is not left behind. Reflecting on this, since the UN Secretary General launched the first global strategy for women's and children's health back in 2010, and the subsequent Every Woman, Every Child movement has strengthened political commitment at, uh, at the highest levels, mobilized resources, consolidated efforts and galvanized actions that have resulted in unprecedented progress to re reduce maternal and child mortality worldwide. It has done so through a pioneering model of multi-stakeholder partnership involving governments, the UN, civil society, the private sector, ph philanthropists, and international organizations. Building on this momentum with the need to protect the fragile gains we have made over the last 15 years and to address the unfinished MD agenda, as well as the new and emerging issues, the UN Secretary General, alongside world leaders, uh, launched the updated global strategy for women's, children, and adolescent health um, at the SDG summit um, on the 26th of September. Um, and a number of our leaders gathered here today were part of that launch. It provides a roadmap for ending the preventable deaths of women, children, and adolescents by 2030 and ensures that they not only survive but also thrive and are also the drivers of the transformation the Agenda 2030 strives to achieve. This global strategy is a front-runner platform to support countries in implementing the 2030 Agenda without delay. The health community is really not out in front thinking about how we put the global strategy into action to accelerate action across all of the sustainable development goals. An operational framework, which we will hear later uh, this morning from Mr. C.K. Mishra from the Government of India, is being developed for the, to really look at how we can support countries to operationalize and to manage the transition from the Millennium Development Goals to the SDGs. To date, um, more than over 100 organizations and over 40 governments have pledged their commitment to the updated global strategy, totaling over $25 billion. Um, and also, we have put in place um, key uh, implementing platforms, such as the Global Financing Facility in support of Every Woman, Every Child, which was launched by the Secretary General in July at the third International uh, Development Financing for Development Conference in Addis Ababa. We, we also have launched an innovation marketplace uh, to scale up life-saving products and approaches to be able to achieve our ambitious goals by 2030. Success will rely on continued and renewed partnership under the Every Woman, Every Child movement, but also, most importantly, has to be driven and owned by countries themselves. And that's why the 12th Interministerial PPD Conference is such a timely conference, and really a gathering and discussion over the next day will really go to the heart of what will help to drive the action and success of the uh, Every Woman, Every Child but also for their sustainable development goals. We also need and require different types of partnerships to achieve this, including South-South collaboration. And that's why we very much look forward to the continued partnership and collaboration with PPD to look at how South-South collaboration uh, and new approaches can really help us achieve our ambitious goals by 2030. Um, I look forward to participating in our rich discussions today, and I thank you very much for, for gathering us all here in Dhaka. Thank you, Nana. Thank you for um, acknowledging PPD's contribution and uh, historical partnership with um, every woman, every child. I remember the last February, we had a meeting with the UN Secretary General to present 26 countries' commitment towards every woman, every child. And on behalf of our chair, I had the privilege to present that to the Honorable Secretary General. I remember that. And uh, thank you for acknowledging that, our contribution.